Ground rules. To be clear, I have a weakness for two genres. First, beautiful cooking. Not intense competition shows or personality-heavy reality TV, but shows that focus on the food itself and why people think it's good. Netflix's Taco Chronicles may be the most endearing, hunger-inducing show of all time because it's about two things. Tacos and the people who make and eat them. Second, good rom-coms. Okay, I have a weak spot for some mediocre rom-coms too, but if you give me characters who seem like real people faced with situations that I believe in, and you make it funny and jerk a tear or two out of me, you win. I say all this just to say I am a sap for certain things, and Ong Lee's 1994 Eat, Drink, Man, Woman hits every possible right button. It's fun, it's sad, it's hilarious, the characters are very real, and wow, does it make you want to go to Taipei and eat just tons. Ong Lee's an interesting guy. Taiwanese, but heavily influenced by many years in America, he made a series of light but heartstring plucking romances in the late 80s, like The Wedding Banquet, where an international gay couple endures a fake marriage with a bohemian artist to keep all their families happy. Curiously, the Westerners in that film, unlike the Taiwanese, seem poorly directed, but Lee turned around and did extraordinarily tender Western films like The Ice Storm, Brokeback Mountain, and Life of Pi with a delicate hand. And of course, he made massive films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and The Bizarre Experiment of the Hulk, which, despite its stylistic pretensions, sticks pretty close to Lee's favorite themes, failed fatherhood and repressed passion. Still, 38 Oscar nominations and 12 wins later, his early work on Eat, Drink, Man, Woman is, for me, still his best. Arguably, the plot shares what Roger Ebert said was the weakness of Fiddler on the Roof. A Taiwanese widower and three daughters walk into a bar. You see the plot coming, and if you're a soulless cynic, it's all quite predictable. The daughters both fit and subvert the ancient triple goddess trope, maiden, mother, crone. Eldest daughter, Jia Jian, a severe born-again Christian, is the crone before her time with loins of flame for her school's PE coach. Youngest daughter, Jia Ning, is the maiden, savvy but susceptible, and quickly knocked up by her best friend's boyfriend. And the middle child, Jia Qian, sees herself as a sexually free career woman, but finds herself constantly drawn back into the family to act as surrogate mother. But it's not what the movie's about, but how it's about it. If the whole film was just the father cooking, I'd buy in. If it was just the ravishing second daughter worrying about her apartments and promotions and boyfriends, I'd be in too. This speaks to the excellent performances by Lung Si Hung as the father, Zhu, and Wu Qianlian as his middle child, Zhu Chia Qian. Both could be regarded as the film's main character. Zhu is a master chef who cooks from memory, having lost his sense of taste as he grows older. He's the Beethoven of chefs, still called in to save his old friends when they ran into crises. He befriends the young daughter of a neighbor whose grandmother has eyes on Ju. Ju makes a deal with a little girl that he'll provide her with fantastic lunches and he'll eat the bologna sandwiches her harried mother has made. He can't taste them, so who cares? The girl becomes a celebrity at her school, taking orders from classmates for the amazing cuisine she brings in her lunchbox. I'm crying just writing this. It's so beautiful. Meanwhile, Jia Qian is a successful airline exec offered a chance to move to Amsterdam. Despite her drive for a career and her adventurous sex life, she's clearly the daughter who could continue her dead mother's legacy as the support for the family, and her father's legacy as master chef. Wu Qianlian is excellent in the role, vying with Lung Si Hung as the film's best character, and that's really saying something, since Lung is a master. Check out Pushing Hands for a similar stellar collaboration between Lung and Ang Lee. Ang Lee decided to make an Americanized version of the film in 2001, Tortilla Soup. It's a far less successful film, though the luggish PE coach played by Paul Rodriguez pretty much steals the show, and Raquel Welsh shows up as the widow with eyes on the chef, so his rejection of her advances is even more eye-popping than an Eat, Drink, Man woman. I mean, it's Raquel Welsh. There was also an attempt at a Broadway version, which ran for three nights. But when the original is perfect, how can you make any successful changes? Eat, Drink, Man, Woman hits that sweet spot in the Venn diagram of funny, sexy, human, and hungry. It balances the four family members' stories perfectly, and it leaves you with a desperate urge to go to Taipei. As far as movies about dinner go, there's a holy trinity. Babette's Feast, The Big Night, and this one, Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. Yeah.